I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now Molly with the weather. So today is 81 degrees with an 80% chance of thunderstorms. Tomorrow will be 83 degrees and sunny. Today's lunch is pizza, cheese, or pepperoni, chicken patty sandwich, popcorn chicken with cornbread, Team BCPS burger on a roll, brainy broccoli and cheese sauce, and peaches. Now over to Joe. Today is National Weiss Krispie Tweets. To celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we celebrate scientists. Bernardo Jose. Born April 10, 1887, died September 1971. He was an Argentine physiologist. In 1947, he was a co-recipient of the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for his discovery of the role played by pituitary hormones. He was the first Latin American Nobel laureate in the science. Neris. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. Um, I wanted to update you with a couple of our, our, uh, our safety and emergency drills that we're practicing this school year. As you're quite aware, we practice fire drills, severe weather drills. Um, we have our rally point drills where you go in the event we need to evacuate. This year, we're practicing a new drill. It's called ALICE. And that is going to replace what you formerly have known as a lockdown drill. Now, the one thing that is different about our lockdown drill is that we are going to encourage people at the direction of a teacher, if it is in the best interest to evacuate, that is one thing that you will learn to do as a part of the ALICE model. You will also learn how to distract someone who shouldn't be in the building. So I'm going to read to you today the first two letters of ALICE. And the word ALICE, each letter stands for a part of this training. The A in ALICE stands for alert. Alert is how we come to know that there's an emergency. There's typically a report from the witness, an announcement through the PA system, or we're notified via a phone alert, text, or emergency messaging, okay? It also might be something that you're hearing in the building that you know is not normal, okay? That is our first alert to any situation that there might be something happening in our building or someone in our building that shouldn't be here. The L stands for lockdown, okay? And I'm going to read you what lockdown means. We've practiced that. Um, several times this year we'll have an enhanced lockdown so that means as normal you would lock the door cover the windows move out of the doorway in case a gunfire comes through it tie the door down if possible using belts purse straps shoelaces barricade the door with anything available like desks and chairs look for an alternate escape route a window or another door Silence all your cell phones. And once secured, do not open the door for anyone. However, if the information is conveyed that the, the situation has changed and evacuation is warranted, you'll evacuate. Okay? Now, I want to make sure that everyone is aware that when we practice these drills, it is for the very unlikely event that anything in our building like this would ever occur. I would like to remind all of you that we have two school resource officers. Our doors are locked at all times and our teachers have been trained. Um, so this is an, in the very unlikely event. However, having said that, just like at home, you might have talked to your parents about what do you do if there's a fire in your house and you have an escape plan. Okay, this is, no, some people are shaking their head no. You might want to talk to your parents about that. <laughs> or if a stranger rings the doorbell, what are you supposed to do, right? Okay, everybody has that. Um, 
This is so that we are planned and prepared, okay? We need to be planned and prepared. Again, it's unlikely that anything like that would ever happen, but just like you plan at home, we plan at school. So I will cover the rest of the letters on Thursday morning, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Now for the quote of the day. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. Robert Louis Stevenson. Thanks for watching. I'm Olivia. And I'm Yasmin. Remember to have pride in all that you do.